Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Phoenix OS as your primary operating system in a legacy BIOS mode. So let's get started. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to first of all head on to Phoenix OS website and download the ISO image. And this is the link you can download it. And second thing is you need to download the application called as Rufus and this will be used for writing the ISO image to the flash drive. So here is the download link and I have already downloaded both the softwares. And this is the ISO image and this is the Rufus software. So just simply double click on this and it requires elevated privileges. Click yes. And I don't want to perform updates. And the first thing you need to do is first of all insert the flash drive and if you have anything content just take the backup of that flash drive. And I have already inserted four gigs, it should be at least two gigs. And then you need to provide the link or the path of the ISO file. So it's sitting on my desktop. So I'll go ahead and select desktop and this is the ISO file. And then as you want to install to legacy BIOS mode, so you will need to ensure that this partition scheme is select to MBR. And here we have only one option available. And rest, everything will be keeping default and click on start and click on OK. Okay, so it's giving you a warning that whatever content you have that will be destroyed and I'll be continuing once this copying is done. Okay, so the copying is done. I'll go ahead and click close and now before we restart and wipe out the hard drive, just to ensure whatever you have in your hard drive, just do the backup because we will be deleting everything and finally we'll be installing the Phoenix OS. Okay, so uh, let's restart. And keep on pressing F12 to go to the boot menu. We need to boot off from the flash drive. Okay, so I'm tapping F12. So I want to boot from the flash drive. I'll just select enter. And I'll go for the second option, install Phoenix OS to the hard disk. Press enter key. Okay, so now you can see that you are having SDA that is your primary hard drive and SDB is the flash drive and SDA has got two partitions that is the 500 MB partition that is the boot partition and this is the system partition. So we want to delete these two partitions so we will go ahead with modify so create and modify partitions and I want to modify the partitions for the hard disk and I don't want to convert to GPT so I'll say no. And now you can see it's giving you a fatal error. The reason is that the, the hard drive is pretty big. We need to shrink the partition. So we need to go back to Windows 10 and shrink that partition. So I'll press Enter key and reboot the machine. Okay, so I rebooted to Windows operating system and we need to perform the shrink operation. So right click the start button and select disk management. and we need to shrink the volume click on OK and now we can restart and again keep on pressing F12 to go to the boot menu Okay, so I'm going to select USB flash drive and press the down arrow key, select installation of Phoenix OS onto hard disk. And next you want to modify and create the partition of the hard disk and I don't want to use GPT. And now you can see that showing you the two partitions, the boot partition and the, the other partition where Windows was installed. We need to delete them. So you can, using up and down arrow key, you can select the partitions and using left and right arrow key, you can select the down menus to perform the operation. So I'll just 
select the right arrow key and delete the primary partition again right arrow key and delete now you can see all you have is 500 gigs of unallocated space so now i'm going to create new partition so I click on new a primary partition now over here is we where we can create two partitions one can be the boot partition of 8 mb at least or can be maximum 24 mb in case if you want to have more than one operating system installed if you want to keep just one operating system you can just go ahead with just single partition so i'll just simply press enter key and select bootable so it will be marking this as the active partition and now i will be writing this back so select write and just type in yes for confirmation and press enter key and now you need to quit from here select quit and now you can see i have one partition sda1 so press enter key and i don't i want to format it with the ext4 format style and yes confirm and now it's doing the formatting of the drive and then is going to copy the content okay so it's now asking for whether you want to create efi partition so it's not a gpt file system so i just want to skip that and then i definitely want to install the grub loader so select yes and that will start copying the files to the hard drive okay so installation is done now you can unplug the flash drive and then restart so I'll unplug the flash drive and select reboot and exit okay so finally you get the grub menu press enter key Okay, so now it's initializing the system is going to take 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so finally we get the welcome screen and select language in English United States. Next, accept the license agreement. I want to skip the connection, create the default user account. And finally you get the desktop so you can see over here if I go to the file you can see you're getting full 500 gigs of hard drive here so that's how you can install the Phoenix OS as your primary operating system and in the next video I'm going to show you how to install Phoenix OS as your primary OS in UEFI systems so hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video